Well, we're down to segment 80. It's been a long road, but it's been an exciting road. And what we're going to do here is we're going to show you now a series called Trick Banks. Now, these are shots that could come up in a game. They won't come up a lot, but if they do, you'll know what to do with them. The first shot came from the movie The Hustler in 1961. It's a shot called The Hustler Bank. We're going to shoot this eight ball into the rail and make it come back into this corner pocket. It's a stroke shot. And this would be an example of your opponent broken, left you kind of trapped like this with solids on each side. And you've made all your stripes, and then eventually this shot came up. So we're going to play the eight right back here. What you do is you line up straight for the center of the cue ball with a rapid rate of acceleration and shoot right through the ball, high center, just like this. The ball comes right back over here like that in the corner pocket. That's an amazing shot. In the movie, they shot that about 50 or 60 times. Here we did it first time today. Pretty cool. Now we got another great eight ball shot that comes up sometimes. This one actually would come up on kind of a regular basis. You're going to have your opponent kind of play a supersonic safe like this where the eight ball, you don't have a clear bank because those stripes are in the way. And you've only got really one good shot. And the idea is to shoot the cue ball into the eight. It's going to hit into this cushion. The eight ball is going to jump over the 14 and 9 and go into the side pocket. You have about a 25 degree elevation of the cue stick. Follow straight through and give it a nice snap. Beautiful shot. So you can imagine if you pull that off in a game, you're probably going to lose an opponent again. At least they're going to maybe ask you how you did it, and you can share a little joy with them on that shot. We've got one more trick kick that's even a little bit more amazing. Let me get the cue ball out of here, and you can see what it will grab the eight ball. And this could actually happen, and you've got to have a really kind of vivid imagination to figure out what to do on this one. You've got object balls kind of like there in a straight row, the cue ball, the eight ball, and this pocket's blocked, and you've got to shoot somehow this eight ball in a pocket. Now, if you look at this real close, it doesn't look like you got a shot here. But if you're a little bit creative, you can do what's called a bank carom shot. This is an awesome shot. We're going to shoot the eight ball over to that side rail. It's going to come back, and the cue ball is going to be right here, and it's going to go off the side of the cue ball in that corner pocket. What a shot. Bank carom shot. Watch this cue ball, how it operates on the eight ball. Great shot. Watch this. Neat. Super. Let's do that again. I hit that a little bit flat. I'm going to hit it again. You can kind of see this. This is a delicate shot. It's about a one and two, this shot, like that. Just like that. Watch. See how it goes in the pocket. Perfect. So I showed you how to adjust. That's about a 50% shot. But you don't have a shot there. So this is really quite an amazing concept to even be creative enough to come up with that. So use that if you need it in the game. It's a tough shot. You've got to be real accurate on it. The final shot I want to show you, which I really like, you all know Terry Bell and, of course, one of the founders of the APA. He has, he loves the game of golf. And sometimes you'll get a game of eight ball where you don't want to use a regular cue ball. So I'm going to show you a shot which uses a very special cue ball to make an eight ball. This is a bank, a trick bank, using a different kind of cue ball, basically a golf ball. So if you're playing with Terry, you might find that he'll have a golf ball he'll pull out of his pocket and shoot this shot. So let's just show you how to do this. All you do is shoot the cue ball, which is our golf ball, into the eight, and it banks right back in the corner pocket, just like that. Not only do you make it, that's like a hole in one almost, which is really cool. So what I've showed you here is I've had, showed you how to have fun in some banks and some kicks. We've got a long steady that we've covered from mechanics through the mechanical all the way up right through the mathematical. And it's really kind of an interesting steady. And we've pretty much completed everything that, I, that I'm going to teach you for the beginning, the intermediate, and the advanced player. So what I'm going to try to do now is in the next segments that we develop, we're going to develop some artistic training. In other words, we're going to show you some trick shots, some of the things to have fun with but we're going to teach you how to do them. So you'll be seeing some of those in the future. Uh, one of the main things I want you to remember is that no matter what you do in the APA, I want you always to rack up a victory in your game and life, according to Dr. Q. You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA pool league today. 
Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit poolplayers.com today.